All right, what's going on YouTube? It's Mixed Breed, and welcome to another Black Ops 6 video. And in today's video, we are going to be going over the Call of Duty Warzone Season 1 Reloaded patch notes. And then we're going to go over to Twitter, and we're going to talk about some things that have been going on with Warzone. Anyway, it's just not a good situation. Super toxic. No one wants to deal with toxicity in a video game. No one wants to feel gaslighted by a video game. That's kind of crazy to me. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. We're going to be talking about it soon. Uh, anyway, Warzone patch notes for the next couple of days. Well, for tomorrow, because this video is going to be out today. I'm recording this yesterday, which is today. It's a lot of confusion. Anyway, Warzone Summary. Introducing BR Ranked Play. Compete for placement and exclusive rewards with the arrival of BR Ranked Play for Call of Duty Warzone. All right, Call of Duty Ranked Play Reloaded Launch Window. Drop in, drop in and back up your talk with the arrival of Battle Royale Ranked Play for Call of Duty Warzone. The competitive experience returns to Battle Royale. Give it all to be the last squad standing in Urzikstan and earn exclusive ranked play rewards for your efforts. Overview and features. Let me zoom in a little bit. A little bit more. Okay. BR Ranked Play Access. To access BR Ranked Play, players must first place in the top 15 in Battle Royale or the top 6 in Resurgence across a total of 30 matches. Placement, placements from Season 1 count towards this requirement. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just to keep, to try to keep cheaters out, but I don't see that happening. Or just, you know, just fucking get rid of Ricochet and go to another anti-cheat company. Because Ricochet's not working. Hit the like button if you agree. Subscribe if you want to see more. Update ranked. Updated rank. The 1 through 5 rank and skill division systems seen in previous versions of BR ranked play have been combined into a single rank. Representing what was previously your skill division and tier earn SR and progress through eight ranks, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, crimson, iridescent, and top 250. SR skill rating. Progress through ranks by earning SR in each match. New this year, SR is earned from your placement and your personal elimination performance. The amount of SR earned from an elimination is now determined by your rank in relation to your opponents. This means more SR uh, more SRs for killing higher ranked players and less SR for killing those below you. I kind of like that. Uh, and these are the uh, the skins. Uh, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, crimson, iridescent, top 250, and champion, which is fucking amazing. I'll never get there. <laughs> I'm going to play ranked, that's for sure. I'm going to solo queue ranked. My buddies get on when they get on if they can. Uh, we'll see how far we can get. Party skill restrictions. Full squads can party together without restrictions. Matchmaking will be based on the highest ranked player in the squad. I'm iffy on it, but I kind of agree with it. Okay, update. Seasonal setback. The end of season SR setback has been adjusted in BR ranked play to reduce the impact felt by players early in their ranked journey. Every new season, your rank may be reset based on where you ended the previous season as followed. Bronze or silver ranked players are not impacted by the seasonal setback and will be able to pick up where they ended each season with no SR deduction. Makes sense. Gold or platinum players will start the next season in tier one of gold or platinum respectively. Cool. Makes sense. Diamond and above players will start the next season at diamond one. Makes sense. Update. Loss forgiveness. No matter what your rank, each player's first loss of the day will be forgiven and not deducted SR. That's cool. This does not stack additionally the three games of loss forgiveness that are granted when you're promoted to a new rank or at the start of a season now only count down after losses. Uh, and then here are the uh, rewards you get. Go ahead and look at that. Okay, new LTM, Holiday Rush, Sleigh Ride, Resurgence. Throw snowballs at your enemies, fight for loot around decorated trees, and hijack undead Santa's ride in these 
two LTMs arriving in the mid-season update. I'm definitely gonna, I, I have the undead Santa skin, so I'm definitely gonna have to like, see if I control people on the train. I'll have to give that a shot, try and make it fun. Enter area 99, newly outfitted with deck the halls, trees, and snowball coolers. Get right to the point with access to higher, to high tier loot along with the smaller gas circle and fast transition and fast and faster transitions between collapses and then sleigh ride resurgence for urzikstan a dead santa has hijacked the train tossed deadly snowballs capture trees hunt reindeer ooh, and battle for control of santa's sleigh ride last team standing wins we get the new perk reflex uh I'm not sure what that does. I think that's what this is. Rush enemy position without being without getting caught in a trap. With this perk equipped, it triggers triggered explosives detonated detonate on a delay when sprinted past them. So here's the shotgun. It's got 34 levels. It's got uh, uh, three mags and a mag size of 10 uh, attachments on it. Clear the rooms with a fast firing full auto shotgun that overwhelms enemies with a hail of lead. The perfect weapon for the new racket strike map and in any confined area the maelstrom requires getting up close it's heavy recoil and large hip spread quickly losing effectiveness at range if you can close the distance first their toast that sounds completely overpowered but i guess we'll see we got the amr mod for the sniper rifle sniper rifle semi-auto sniper rifle one shot kill to torso arms hands and upper legs very high recoil and slow fire rate you can steady your aim while adsing so that it just seems like it's going to be a very hard controlling sniper all right so here's the meat cleaver it's just a melee weapon nothing crazy oh yeah forgot about this we got a squid game uh in call of duty crossover these look pretty clean i'm probably not gonna spend my money on it but you know do you all right so now that we have gone over uh pretty much everything on the uh page that you can see right here now let's go to some other updates that are in the patch notes uh for instance they're changing the controller stick sensitivity the controller stick sensitivity sliders system change from uh, a 1 to 20 scale to a point 10 to 4 this will give players finer control over their sensitivity values and more transparency on the effect of their changes previously set sensitivity settings will be maintained so you're not going to have to go in and reset and change your sensitivity it should just convert into what it is right now we went over the uh ranked we'll go over a little bit more detail of what is going to be coming into ranked so it's obviously going to be on urzik stan and all the the squad size will be trios uh modern warfare weapons and launchers are restricted um so our thermals under barrels the chf barrel rapid fire and dragon's Be dragon's breath mod uh the reinforcement flare foresight century turret bird's eye alertness specialist cargo truck triumph tf big game bounty elite contracts proximity chat text to chat emotes and gulag events are restricted this is the uh rank tier and requirements to get to each rank so here are the eliminations. This is going over the, like if you're going to kill somebody that is a three level, three ranks lower than you, the elimination SR will be three, two ranks lower than you, four, you get it, you can see it right there. Um, if they're higher than you, if they're three ranks higher than you, you get 10 SR for an elimination. That's crazy. I have, I have a feeling that ranking is gonna be kind of easy this season we'll find out we'll see i guess and the bonus sr per elimination top 40 you get two before top 40 each elimination is one sr after top 40 or at top 40 it's two per elimination at top 15 each elimination is five sr and if you get 10 kills at the end of the game and you win then you get 100 on top of 100 for a bonus SR per kill. 
And it says additionally, a maximum elimination SR cap is in place at 150 SR. Makes sense. Uh, here is the deployment fee for each rank. Uh, after silver one, it just goes up from there by five. Okay, so now we're going over penalties and suspension. Players who disconnect or quit matches will face SR penalties and temporary suspension. Repeat offenders will receive escalating penalties. SR forgiveness. Players will not lose SR under the following circumstances. A match a match made player disconnects or leaves the game midway through match. Players can still earn SR if they overcome the disadvantage. However, if they lose at a num numerical disadvantage, no SR will be will be deducted from players outside the leaving player's party. The player lost the player loses their first match of the day. Each player's first loss of the day will be forgiven regardless of their rank, and no SR will be deducted. This forgiveness does not stack. The player currently has demotion protection. Uh, if enough players disconnect before match starts the match will be canceled and will not count remaining players will be returned to the main menu demotion protection after advancing to a higher rank players we knew that we know that for three games you get no sr or no sr deduction after the initial protection if players lose enough, uh, lose sr to be demoted they will first be dropped to the minimum threshold of their current rank losing their next match will result in demotion demotion protection also applies to players first three games of each ranked play season party skill restrictions full parties of three can now play together in ranked play regardless of the individual's rank skill matching skill matchmaking will be based on the highest rank in the party for uh, party skill restrictions for two or three player parties are as followed bronze platinum no restrictions diamond can party with two ranks iridescent including top 250 and crimson can party with one rank additional social social features hot streaks win three ranked games in a row within a short period earn to earn victory streak flames these flames will appear behind your rank icon in the lobby and in game Extend your win streak to enhance the flames. Victory streaks, victory streak flames expire after a loss or if you go 72 hours without playing a ranked play match. More hot streak levels have been added in Black Ops. In Black Ops 6, go on a roll to see how many, how high you can climb and show the comp competition that the heat is on. Stay spicy. Social profile. Ranked play icons will be added to your social profile, showcasing your ranked play rank wherever your profile is viewed across Black Ops 6 and Warzone. Cool. Okay. Server performance enhancements. We've implemented several updates designed to boost several performance, uh, ensuring a smoother and more reliable experience. I think that might be their way of saying, yeah, our servers are ass. Sorry. Here, I guess we'll fix them. JK, I really doubt that they actually fixed them. Adjustments. Uh, specialist discount fire sales discount for specialists has increased to 50 percent up from 30 percent to be in line with other items and then we went over reflex uh, bunker buster increasing maximum da damage from 237 to 300 oh no decrease the minimum damage from 112 to 50 i guess that's good but I don't like that. That means that bunker busters, uh, if you get hit by it, you're dead. When the trophy system intercepts the bunker buster, it will deal slightly less damage in the area to account for the increased damage, maximum damage. I guess that's good. Trophy systems can actually be used uh, against the bunker buster now. I, mean, I don't know if they were before, but with the adjustments, with the adjustments to how the trophy system will cause bunker busters to detonate, we wanted to make sure that it remained competitive. There is now an emph emphasis on being accurate with the delivery to maximize the damage. In instance where the trophy system does not intercept, players can now expect better results for accurate hits and significant fall off when inaccurate. Uh, assault rifles. We want ARs to remain competitive, long-range options, so we are increasing the velocity of all Black Ops 6 ARs to help with engagements at range, along with buff buffing the 
some ARs damage ranges that were underperforming, we will continue to evaluate, adjust as needed. So I wonder how this is going to change the uh, the meta. I wonder if the XM4 will still be meta. All marksman rifles have had their reload speed increased by 12%. All shotguns have had their reload speed increased by 8%. Custom loadout colors, quality of life, weapons that players infill with or respawn will no longer show as a single custom loadout color. Rather, they will now have a weapon rarity color based on the number of attachments. Audio adjustments reduce reverb effect volume on Urzik stand is that it like there's so much more like i hope that they fix the the in-game chat audio where you're hearing gulag in-game chat is weird okay bug fixes oh my gosh look at how much there is perks fix an issue with custom perk packs where the pack was named custom when it should be named custom perk pack Fix an issue with custom perk packs where the pack was showing as legendary rarity when it should be shown as loadout rarity. Fix an issue with scavenger description where it did not call out that it provides cash. The perk will provide 1500 cash from the packs that drop from enemies. Fixed an issue with grenader description where it made reference to players removing shrapnel. The perk applies a debuff when enemies are damaged by explosives, but they are not expected to remove shrapnel. Makes sense. It's kind of what I figured. Uh, fixed an issue with quick fix where health was not regenerating on plating, on plating and kills. Wow, imagine that. <laughs> quick fix is probably going to be good now. Uh, fix an issue with quick fix where inserting an armor plate downing a player or killing a down player now correctly starts health regen. It kind of just said what you just said. Fix an issue where the default perk quick swap was not being applied in pre-match. This is still applied correctly in a regular match. Okay. Fix an issue causing the specialist perk package to be discounted 30% instead of 50% during a fire sale. Yep, we just saw that. Field upgrades. Fix an issue with the deployment buy station field upgrade that showed the incorrect icons in some situations. Fix an issue preventing the loadout drop field upgrade icon from appearing in the lower right hand of the screen when players have one equipped camos fix an issue with the challenge that required tracking kills while under an enemy uav previously this only tracked if a player eliminated with the enemy who initially activated the uav which was not the intended functionality uh, this affected the unique camos for the tanta tanto the bat and the xm4 as well as the prestige 10 calling card challenge going aloud now it correctively tracks eliminations on the player while the attacker is under UAV activated by an enemy player after all. The only thing better than taking down enemy operators is doing it while you're on everyone's radar. Whatever. Firing range. Fix an issue that caused the firing range dummies to not trigger armor break sounds when being hit with the headshot as the armor breaks. Fix an issue that unintentionally caused snipers to not one shot headshot in some scenarios in the firing range. Fix, why don't you do that in game? Fixed issues that prevented a movable dummy from properly moving to the intended weapon damage ranges. Gulag, fix, fixed an issue causing, causing players to appear to take damage when entering the gulag fixed an issue causing gulag events to spawn more cash than intended okay that <sighs> come on give us the money all right others <sighs> almost done fixed an issue where players would receive incorrect hit marker visual feedback when viewing kill cams come on are we really still getting gaslit in the fucking patch notes Fixed an issue that unintentionally made players swap the wrong gun when switching weapons and picking up a weapon at the same time. Thank you. I really hope that did get fixed. Uh, that killed me a lot. Fixed an issue prevented players from leaving the match during X-Fill. 
fixed an issue causing players to get stuck in a plating animation fixed an issue where players would not be able to use multiple uavs fixed an issue where the buy station was showing the incorrect icon fixed an issue allowing players to duplicate pay, play, payouts come comp completing the signal <laughs> intelligence contract so no more un unlimited money fix an issue with the ammo depot caches missing on rebirth island fix an issue that prevented players from properly attaching mid-air to long zip line in urzikstan fix numerous descriptions on weapon attachments in the gunsmith after the muzzle and underbarrel refactor Fixed an issue where the icon for certain public events were flashing repeatedly. Fixed an issue where the score feed would persist on the HUD through death and respawn. Fixed an issue where the attachment swap pop-up will show incorrectly under certain conditions. Fixed an issue where the airspace is too crowded. Message and information would not display correctly when using certain kill streaks. Fixed an issue where tutorial messages pop ups would appear even when disabled. Fixed missing sound when your squad is wiped. Fixed an issue with the plunder scoreboard causing the cash bunked to display incorrectly. Fixed an issue that prevented a player from shooting after opening a loadout crate when they were previously eliminated from going out of bounds. That's weirdly specific. Fix an issue causing the bounty contest widget to flash and play sound repeatedly. Uh, that is it on that. But that's everything on the uh, patch notes. Now we got the uh, Call of Duty tweet that they tweeted out where uh, there was a bunch of clips. I'm sure you, you have seen them where hit reg is just absolutely non-existent and it's very apparent and they said we've identified an issue that could result in erroneous visual blood effects when damage was not actually dealt while shooting at enemies in all modes and i have experienced this as well and it's absolutely crazy and they actually got fact noted by twitter themselves saying there is a hit registration issue in warzone on the client side it's displayed that shots hits enemies showing the visual effect of blood but servers don't register them as valid hits therefore the error lies in the unre unregistered hit and not the visual blood effect it's absolutely insane that this is going on and and they have not even responded to this at all in fact today they tweeted out the patch notes and they tweeted out that some players may not be able to prog uh, progress certain daily challenges in the second and third slot until the launch of Season 1 Reloaded at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Crazy. You know, another another bug added on to just a tremendous amount of other bugs. It's absolutely insane what's going on here. So let me know your thoughts down below about this whole situation. Let me know if, if you think that season one reloaded is going to be an L, another L on top of all the other L's that they've brought to this game. Or do you think it's gonna maybe fix some stuff? I think it's gonna be a shit show. But if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Black Ops 6 content from this channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share my content with someone you might think will enjoy, let them know to like, share, comment, and subscribe as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a good day, good night, and a good morning wherever you're at. And I'll see you in the next one.